Making boxes should be simple. For 90 degree angles or perfectly cut lengths of wood, and you should be all right. Of course, that's not always the answer. With wood being wood, there's a lot of imperfections we have to work with, even after planing, jointing, and cutting stock square. With this latest project, I think I've come up with a corner clamp system that makes it easier to get boxes square. Before we get started, I've got to come clean. In the spirit of KISS, you really only need a few of these to get your box square. And while this design makes getting nearly every picture frame easily square, it does get a little difficult when you're trying to clamp a box. First of all, to get the box completely square on every angle, you'll need 16 clamps. Two for the top, two for the bottom on each angle. If you're trying to clamp all the angles together at one time, it gets very difficult to line up your angles as your frame sits on clamps. But it can be done. I have patterns and a step-by-step -step video to make these clamps. So for all the KISS freaks out there, this should quench your thirst. But then I got to thinking, could we do the same thing without F-clamps? The advanced version, I considered this a challenge. First, I decided I wanted a perfect wedge that mirrored the simpler version. This paired with a knob would force the stock to bend to my will. Or at least line things up. Because drilling three holes into the created wedge would have been nearly impossible to get straight, I instead used three layers. The middle layer cut exactly the way I would have wanted it drilled. Next, I created an arm that would help push the wood to where I wanted it. To overcome the hurdle of trying to somehow drill out the arm so that it lined up perfectly with the channels in the wedge, I added bolts to the previous holes, cut pieces, clamped, and glued those pieces together with blocks. Simple. Next, I created stretchers that would allow the wood to be pulled together. There's really nothing fancy about these, but they really don't need to be. Of course, I had to make a custom knob for this. But in the free online instructions for this project, I do show how to easily create a knob with a stud. To finish, I needed a back brace that the wedge could squeeze into to help control the shape I was after. Because I knew it would do a little bit of flexing, I used plywood. Just like the arm, I added holes that connected to the stretchers. And voila, my overly engineered clamp was done. But how does it work? Well, I showed you how much the KISS-friendly simple corner clamps performed. What I like about these is that I can lay all four clamps out, get my wood about where I want it before tightening it down. There are a few adjustments that need to be done when it's time to clamp as well as make sure to use long enough bolts. But it did seem to go quicker and easier overall. And you can stand it on its corner, which seems pretty cool. It does seem to make it easier to find if there are any gaps. But let's be fair. I was a bit disappointed I still needed long clamps to pull the wood together, like the simpler clamps we looked at in the beginning. Now, that could be because I didn't cut the stock perfectly, or that I'm using pine. It's also not easy getting a perfectly 90 degree wedge. I had to go back to basics and fix my table saw sled so that I could do it. This project lasted me much longer than it was supposed to last. I thought it would be fun showing some of the crazy zany stuff that went into this originally. If you'd like to watch the full build video, or the knob video, both are in the description and at the end of this video. All the plans for both types are on my website along with detailed build videos, which can also be found in the description. Yeah. 
Patreons, I'm giving away this corner clamp set. You're automatically entered into the drawing, so check back to see if you won. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, and I thank you so much for being a part of my shop. Please leave a comment below, come find me on Instagram at MakeThingsWithRob, and remember to keep making things. Thank you.